The world around us is full of unusual and unnerving sights, which defy explanation. Some of them have been that way for thousands of years, but even some modern buildings give visitors an unsettling sensation which they can't quite explain. In this video, we're going to check out some of the most mysterious places on Earth and investigate the secrets they're hiding. Out in Russia's Solovetsky Islands are a series of ancient labyrinths which have been studied extensively, but the mystery of their purpose remains unresolved. The stone labyrinths have been arranged in spirals, often intersecting with each other to form more complex patterns and concentrated into an area that covers less than half a square mile. Testing of the rocks has revealed that they're more than 2,500 years old, but hasn't shed any light on their purpose. Radial spikes on boulders found in the area suggests that they may have been part of a sun ritual, but other researchers believe they had a ceremonial use, perhaps to assist in guiding spirits to the underworld after people had passed away. Given the difficult to navigate layout of the labyrinths, though, they may also have been intended to prevent the dead from finding their way back. Upon the highest peak of northern Germany sits the world's first television transmitter. But that's far from the Brocken's only claim to fame. This mountain range has been associated with witchcraft and sorcery for centuries, inspiring the great author von Goethe to write his famous play Faust. Two curious rock formations on the Brocken, known as the Devil's Pulpit and the Witch's Altar, also lend an air of the supernatural to the area. The strangest sight to be found at the peak is the Brocken Spectre, an incredible natural phenomenon which casts the shadow of climbers onto the mist, seemingly stretched out for miles onto the land and sky before them, and crowning them with rainbow colors. The effect is known as a solar glory, but it's a chilling sight to see for unprepared travelers. There are many enormous blue stones in Russia which were once worshipped by pagans and nomads. The most famous of them all is the blue stone of Lake Pleschyevo, which was once said to bless the residents of the neighboring settlements before turning its back on them and afflicting all who touch it with misfortune. People who live around the lake are fearful of the mysterious fogs which rise from the water, into which people are said to walk out and never return. An entire team of mushroom gatherers once vanished in such a fog, as did a goods train with 23 carriages. No trace of the people or the train was ever found. Lake Pleschyevo is a beautiful area, but is there an ugly spirit hiding in the water here? A quarry in Sibe, Baskiria, was once a source of great local pride for the people who lived around it. It was a big source of employment for the population, and in its peak years it produced copper, sulfur, and gold in vast quantities as one of the largest quarries of its type anywhere in the world. Now it's turned on the 62,000 people who used to depend on it. In autumn 2018, residents noticed a strange mist hanging over the city, and the constant smell of burning from a fire that nobody could see. The mist seemed to center over the old quarry, and as the smoke grew thicker, the true nature of the problem was revealed. The sulfuric ore below the quarry had caught fire, and the cloud was beginning to poison the city. Stinging eyes, burning throats, and headaches became common in the surrounding area, leaving firefighters with the huge task of putting out an inferno that was burning below the ground. When a waterfall gets a nickname like the Devil's Kettle, you know there's going to be a bizarre story about it. The natural feature in Minnesota, USA has perplexed scientists and enthralled visitors for years for one simple reason. Water cascades down the rocks, enters a pothole, and then seems to simply disappear. Scientists have thrown GPS devices into the pothole to try to trace the exit point of the powerful flow, but they also vanish. All that leaves us with is speculation, with some believing that the water sinks down into the core of the earth. That might make it a portal to hell, hence the name. 
A more likely explanation is that the pressure of the water against the rocks is so great that anything thrown into it, even a tiny GPS tracker, would be crushed and destroyed. That could be true, but it still doesn't explain where the water goes. If you were out walking and suddenly noticed you could see water running uphill and found you could lean at angles usually reserved for Michael Jackson in the Smooth Criminal video, would you run away in terror or turn it into a tourist destination? George Prather took the second option when he opened the Mystery Spot attraction in California in 1939. Gravity works in mysterious ways on this hillside, where a ball can be dropped on the floor and roll uphill, and people find they can balance far beyond the point of the end of their toes. Scientists say it's all an optical illusion caused by the way our minds perceive the strange landscape, but we prefer the tour guide's explanation that an ancient asteroid fell to Earth here centuries ago and changed the electromagnetic field. In the popular movie Wayne's World, there's the catchphrase, if you build it, they will come. That turned out not to be the case for the Mongolian ghost city of Ordos. This was supposed to be a megacity which should have been home to hundreds of thousands of people, but planned businesses were never created. Nearby mines turned out to be unprofitable and the city was mostly abandoned in a state of half completion. Now it's an eerie place to visit with huge vacant apartment buildings and empty roads and museums which nobody ever visits. The houses haven't been vandalized because there's nobody here to vandalize them. It's a towering city of silence and solitude, like a relic of a lost civilization. When Latvian Edward Liedskullnin was rejected by his fiancée on the eve of their wedding, he set off to heal his broken heart in America and prove to her that he was capable of achieving something with his life. When he arrived in America, he contracted tuberculosis, but claims to have healed himself with magnets. That would sound like an outlandish claim until you consider his most incredible achievement, building the Coral Castle of Florida. The castle, made of light limestone, was a lifetime's worth for Liedskalnin. Modern engineers would need powerful machinery to arrange stones of this size in such precise and artistic formations, but Liedskalnin worked alone demonstrating skills so precise that not one of the thousands of tons of rock here have moved an inch since he put them together almost a century ago. The eccentric builder took the secret of how he built the castle to his grave, telling visitors only that he discovered the secret behind the building of the pyramids and used the same method. Local witnesses claim to have seen him moving the rocks around as if they were light as balloons and some even say he used psychic powers to lift them. Can you think of a better explanation? Music lovers around the world know all about Glastonbury Festival, but far fewer know why the site was chosen to host the festival. Glastonbury has been a sacred and special site for centuries, with archeological digs around the famous Glastonbury tour finding relics of Neolithic, Iron Age, Bronze Age, and Roman civilizations. In misty and foggy weather, the tour on the hilltop appears to hover above the land, a phenomenon known as the Fata Morgana visual effect. The Morgana part of that name comes from the legend of Morgana, a sorceress associated with the tale of King Arthur. That's because it's believed that somewhere far below the tower, King Arthur himself is buried and resting, ready to awaken when his country needs him. There are even stories that the Tor is the secret hiding place of the Holy Grail and the gateway to the mystical land of Avalon. No wonder it's such a popular pilgrimage site. The Roslyn Chapel has been sat quietly in Scotland since 1456. But after the publication of Dan Brown's novel, The Da Vinci Code, it's become a hotspot of speculation and myth, connecting it to both the Holy Grail and the Templar Knights. Most of that speculation is unfounded, but the chapel has some strange properties which can't be explained. It sat empty between the years of 1592 and 1842, 
by which time the original meaning of many of the intricate inscriptions on the pillars and ceilings had been forgotten. They defy any translation, and some of them appear to depict types of corn and wheat which should have been unknown in Europe until after Columbus visited America. Even more mysterious is the sealed vault behind the chapel, to which no entrance can be found. Everything from the Scottish crown jewels to the remains of Jesus Christ has been rumored to be in there, preserved for centuries. Haishu Valley in China has many different nicknames, including the foreboding Dell of Black Bamboo. But the one that tells us the most in terms of what it's known for is the Bermuda Triangle of China. This is a strange and terrifying plain of land, varying by two miles in height from top to bottom and often filled with fog. It shares its latitude with the original Bermuda Triangle and the Pyramids of Giza, which makes some people believe it has the same mystical properties. Planes have flown over Haishu Valley and vanished from radar. People, including whole troops of soldiers, have walked in and never walked out again. As the local Yi people refuse to allow anyone to penetrate too deeply into the land because it's holy to them, detailed exploration is impossible. We should probably heed their advice though. Even they fear the strange fog in Haishu and say that they who touch it are surely doomed. La Musara in Spain looks like an ancient city that has stood abandoned for hundreds of years, but it hasn't. It was populated until at least 1960 and has reached this level of ruin in only a few short decades. Maybe those who live nearby are right about there being a curse on this place. In the years since its abandonment, there have been tales of UFO sightings here and tourists who've walked into the old town and never been seen again. On winter nights, strange lights are said to appear directly above the empty buildings, for which no explanation has ever been found. Scientists insist that the rapid decay is due to an infestation of Phylloxera aphids, which used to feast on the grapes within the vineyards that once stood here. Could humble aphids really have crumbled the stones and dismantled the building so dramatically though? The one thing everyone who visits it can agree on is the eerie silence that hangs over the place as if the noise of the outside world can't penetrate the air. Is this really just a forgotten old town? Or could it be the gateway to another dimension? Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and you will be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thank you for watching and see you soon.